Hey everybody, we're getting ready to race tomorrow, and we're out with some good biker friends checking out some outrageous trikes. We're still a few subscribers shy of our goal of 500 subscribers. This is an important milestone in getting YouTube to notice us and help expose our crazy little sport to the rest of the world. So please like and subscribe and hit that little bell if you haven't done it already. We thank you for helping out, and we thank you for watching Slot Rods. And now, on with the show. <laughs> this is how they decide to move cars around on slot rods. They drive the slot rods well. Howdy! Here it is. And you guys. I don't know about that crew. Show respect, step back, no need for space invasion. Stop saying your room number at the day's end. Let the girl dance. That's really all she came for. Million dollar dress probably came from the thrift store. Even though she seems to be exactly what you wish for. She's never coming in on your transistor. Don't matter if you're rich or piss poor. She's out of your league and in a different sport. The answer is no, you ain't got a chance. She's out of your league, just let the girl dance. No freaking allowed, yo, you just get a glance. Don't try to speak game, yo, just let the girl dance. The answer is no, you ain't got a chance. She's out of your league, just let the girl dance. You can watch a smoke blow from a distance. Put a bit of some face on, let the girl dance. Hey everybody, welcome back to Slot Rods, and welcome to Truck Night in the 724. I'm Randy Silvis. And I'm Tony Mollick. We've assembled 18 of the fastest trucks from the 412, the 724, and Team Moton. And tonight, we're going to find out who has the fastest truck in Slot Rods. This is our sort of second annual Truck Night, and here's a look at last year's champ. The 1955 Ford F100 called One Man's Poison. And we here at Slot Rods like to call her OMP. She's one of our OG Slot Rods and you usually only see her on truck night or at the Halloween shootout. Looks like this year she's using truck night as a warm up race for the Halloween shootout. Yeah, that is coming soon, isn't it? Yes, it is. And this race will be a double elimination race. We're going to split the cars into a winner's bracket and a loser's bracket after the first round. And then the losers will go into a single elimination race against each other until only one remains. That driver is going to join the other nine drivers in the winner's bracket. Then those drivers will race single elimination until we have a slot rods truck champion. And here are the races for the first round. Race one is between the 59 El Camino called Elvis versus the rockin' junkyard dog called Hollin' Oats. Hey, what's up with Elvis and that fancy font? Never mind that, we'll get to that later. Well, Hollin' Oats just jumped the light. Yep, and Elvis chased him. But here at truck night, first is worst. And it didn't matter anyway. Elvis moves on to the next round. Hall and Oates was already gone before Robbie's finger moved on the flashlight. Here at Slot Rods, we like to embrace new technology. Right now, we're working on a new car retrieval system. This is just a little attempt for us to be able to stop walking all the soles off our shoes at these races. Eh, all we need is a tow vehicle with a little more torque and a larger battery. Race 2, we got Joker from the 724 versus Old Blue from the 412. Well, I see the rear end broke loose on Old Blue. And then, something terrible happened. Yep, it got loose and it stayed loose until it got completely out of control. Old Blue managed to hang on to it until he crossed the finish line. Well, who won? 
Old, Old Blue. Blue. Man, that was close. Race three, we got Rambunctious from the 724 versus Calvary from Team Motown. And Rambunctious dies at the 100 foot mark. Yeah, that was something electrical. Race four, we have Flip versus Cab Over Pete. Cab Over was out with the early lead and held Flip off long enough to get to the win. Race five, four, one, two teammates. Cletus and Blue by You. Man, that sounds like the worst country band ever. It's always a shame to have to send one of your teammates to the losers bracket, but that's the beauty of a double elimination. Losers have one more chance. I think Cletus had the better traction and that made all of the difference. Cletus joins the winners and Blue by You takes the long road. Race six, Scott Rages from Motown versus Old Heavy from Memphis by way of the 724. Looks like little Scott Rages was a little too much for Old Heavy. That was a tough race for Old Heavy. And here's another tough race for both competitors. The Honey Badger El Camino from the 412 versus last year's champion, One Man's Poison. OMP showed up to impress and did not disappoint. That truck was pulling so hard the front end was bouncing. Yep, he never let off the accelerator. Race number eight, that psychotic looking chop 32 Ford called Nightmare versus Keith in his Chevy S10 called Daily, complete with full interior and dashboard. Yeah, I think I saw him unload some groceries and a baby buggy out of the back before he pulled up to the starting line. Oh my god, step into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Yep, Jake's been running that truck with the cars all year long. He's got to have a couple hundred passes on that thing. Well, Keith will get a chance to get a few more passes before he'll have to ever see him again. Our last race of the round, Mike Trumpy Zelko versus Mark Rendos in Massey. Oh, and Mike overpowered the starting line and wound up dead in the middle of the track. Which gives us our winner's bracket and our loser's bracket. Winners, go sit down for a while. We're going to take care of these guys first. We're going to have four races in this round with Blue Bayou drawing the bye. First up will be Flip versus the Joker. Flip got off to the early lead and it looked like the Joker was trying to come around. Joker was closing in on him the whole way to the finish line, but Flip managed to hold him off. Sending Flip to the next round, and the Joker back to the trailer. Race 2, the Elko versus the Honey Badger. Mike's got that Elko together this time. He finished way before the Honey Badger. Up next, we got Daily versus Rambunctious. Want to put any bets on this one? Too late and no. Looks like Xavier doesn't quite have that Ranchero lined out yet. He's going to have to take care of it now at home. That's all right. We have a test and tune coming soon. Yeah, a few of them. Next up, race four, Old Heavy versus Hall and Oates. Old Heavy stole the hit, 
and Hauling Oats was trying to run him down. Oh shit! Did he, did he get him? Well, calm down. Let's take a look in slower slow motion. Here comes Hauling Oats, and Hauling Oats wins it by a bumper. That leaves Flip, Elko, Daly, Hauling Oats, and Blue Bayou. And Blue Bayou can't draw the bye twice in a row. Giving us two races and a bye. We have Elko versus Daly, Hauling Oats versus Blue Bayou, and Flip drew the bye. Yeah, drawing that bye is big right now. Up next, we got Elko versus Daly. And the Elko jumped. And Keith gets a free pass and the data that goes with it. Up next, Hall and Oates versus Blue Bayou. When did we start allowing passengers on the racetrack? They said unless they could go together, they weren't racing. It must take two people to drive that truck. Hey, do those guys look familiar to you? Hmm, maybe. Oh, Blue Bayou got the jump, but it just didn't 60 foot hard enough, and Hall and Oates put the gap on him. Which brings us to our final three and a coin toss to figure this thing out. All right, we're going to flip for the bye. Jake, you drove furthest. You call it in the air. Right. Hey. His tails, and that means flip and haul and oats race first and daily stands by. Haul right. and oats out of the hole first again. Which leaves us with Daly versus Hall and Oates. I hope Keith took the interior out of that thing because he needs to lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> they left the line together. That S10 is just still too heavy. Which sends Hall and Oates to the winner's bracket. And we get to do this all over again. Let's turn 10 into 1. Nine of these trucks are undefeated, but they only have one race. All Notes has a distinct advantage having so many passes. Our first five races are Calvary versus Cab Over Pete, Massey versus Old Blue, OMP versus Nightmare, Hall and Oates versus Cletus, and Elvis versus Scout Rages. First up, Calvary versus Cab Over Pete. I'm rolling, rolling. Give her one rolling. Rolling. You've got to be kidding me. Mark Rendos must have been asking himself the same question at the end of the track. All he had to do was go from A to B. And somehow he overpowered the car at cross center. And that gives Tony the win. And that gives me time to fix that loose gear. Up next, Massey versus Old Blue. And Old Blue's tail was all over the lane. And spinning ain't winning. Up next, last year's champion OMP versus arguably the fastest slot rod on the lot, Nightmare. The heaviest vehicle versus the lightest vehicle. Good luck, OMP. You got your hands full. Well, looks like OMP launched so hard the body lifted off the frame. I pushed that old girl for everything she was worth. And last year's winner is officially out of the race. Up next, Cletus versus Hall & Oates. Look how much punishment Hall & Oates has been put through. The body's sitting completely cockeyed. Man, it's got to be hard to drive like that. Yeah, Cletus forgot to leave. I don't know what happened to him. Yep, 
No, he gave Hall and Oates an easy win. Which brings us to Elvis versus Scout Rages. One of our longest trucks versus one of our shortest. So what is with the Elvis font? Oh, it's just something a little bit special. And Scout Rages forgot to leave. But I don't think it would have made any difference anyway. Elvis left on a mission. And that brings us to our final five. Cab over Pete, Nightmare, Hall and Oates, Massey, and Elvis. Elvis will be racing the Nightmare. Hall and Oates will be racing Cab over Pete, and Massey probably drew the luckiest buy of the night, guaranteeing him a place in the final three. Up first, Elvis versus the Nightmare. Elvis left first, but Nightmare started coming around about mid-track. And Nightmare takes it by a landslide. Now it's Hall and Oates versus Cab Over Pete. And Cab Over Pete got the jump and held Hall and Oates off for the win. That means it's time for one more coin toss. Nightmare and Cab Over flipping a coin to see who raises Massey. You go for further as you call it. All right, call it in the air. Tails. Don't touch it. Looks like they don't for me. Okay, that means you got the bye, and Cab Over and Massey are racing one another. All right. You heard the man. Massey and Cab Over Pete to see who races Nightmare in the final. And they leave together. The Cab Over Pete started to pull away from Massey at about camera two and held him off for the win. Which brings us to our final. Jake Rendos in Nightmare versus Tony in Cab Over Pete. You both waited for the light. Yeah, I should have tried guessing on the light. I didn't have quite enough to get around Nightmare. You know what that's telling you. Shed a little bit of weight, try again next year. Which means our 2023 second annual WPSRA Truck Night Champion is Jake Rendos in that ugly 1932 chop Ford called Nightmare. That was one hell of a day of racing. And Jake gets the bragging rights till next year. Wear the crown well, kid. So, you ready to tell me about that fancy Elvis font? Well, yeah, it's kind of a tribute. Uh, I got some bad news from the catch bin. On his last race with Nightmare. Oh, oh you mean... <sighs> yeah, the king was decapitated. Clean to the bottom of the pillars. Long live the king. Well, folks, that's the end of our 2023 Truck Night Championship. Until next time, I'm Randy Silvis. And I'm Tony Mollick. And you've been watching Slot Rods. The answer is no, you ain't got a chance. She's out of your league, just let the girl dance. No screaming aloud, though, you just get a glance. No time to game, yo, just let the girl dance. The answer is no, you ain't got a chance. She's out of your league, just let the girl dance. You can watch a soul flow from a distance. But give us some face on, let the girl dance.
Now that's a drag race.